Okay, so uh, the other day, uh, Presley was telling us that uh, her vision wasn't so good. She was having some trouble reading some signs and maybe reading the board or Friday classes and stuff. And so uh, we decided we'd uh, get her eyes checked out and see if maybe she needs to get a pair of glasses. So we've got a big wall of glasses here. So we'll see. Uh, first, we'll do the eye exam and see if she needs some. And if she needs some, then maybe you guys can help us pick out a, a pair of friends for her. Yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah. Anything to say? Uh, not really. <laughs> <laughs> So when we start this, you're going to see a farmhouse down at the end of the road, and that's going to come in and out of focus. Do you see that farmhouse there? Yeah. Perfect. That'll get blurry and clear and blurry a couple oh, times. Blurry. Oh, uh. Yeah, it'll just kind of do it on its own. You're doing great, though. Well, and this is like a big camera, so it's going to take a bright flash of the back of the eye in just a moment. Let me set it up here. I'm going to have you kind of brush your hair back a little bit if you can. That darn hair. Right? Perfect. Thank you. That's great. So looking right in there, you're going to see a green light. See that green light there? Good. So look right at that. Keep blinking as you need to. And then once I line you up, I'll take a big camera flash here. Good. And then nice and wide, really wide. Let's see if I beat your blink. Why we do this is it checks the pressure in your eye. So I'm going to come close and it's going to give you just a little puff of air in your eye. It'll probably make you jump, but it doesn't hurt, I promise. Good. Perfect. That wasn't so bad, was it? You barely even jumped. Good job. Awesome. You did great. Good job. Good job. Thank you for doing so well, though. You did better than most adults. A lot better than most adults. So I just did some pretty simple eye tests. Um, Two of which made me, yeah, were actually pretty startling, but there's a camera flash and a puff in my eye, but yeah. And now I think we're going to do some more complicated stuff. All you're going to be doing is telling me what number you see on each page, or yeah, just do so a few. 12, Good. 8, 29, 5, 3. Yeah, skip some. Let's go. 16, 78. Excellent. Um, 26, 42. Those are pretty clear. Yeah. And this one you're going to start on one X and trace it around to okay. the other X. Yeah, I'm like, that's not a number. <laughs> uh, like that? Yep, you got it. And then you can trace it all the way back to the other one. Perfect. Color vision's really good. Didn't miss any? Did really well there. So a lot of people can't read those numbers. Yes. Yeah. A surprisingly large number of Especially people. Especially men. Yep, yeah, yep. can't men read those numbers. More so than Because they see those colors as the same color. Yep. Exactly, yeah, or they'll say instead of a 28, they'll just say like a 6 because the other one's hidden and yeah, it's kind of cool. I'm going to put these ones on now. These are 3D glasses. I'm going to check your depth perception now. That's a very tiny TV in here. What's that? Yeah. Uh, do this, give me some more light here, maybe. So with these, these are a little bit tougher but not too bad. So you're going to, you see the three dots there? Yeah. You're going to start by just pushing on each one that's sticking out of the page. So, I'm not colorblind. <laughs> You're not colorblind? Yay. Um, That's a good thing. I've always, I've always, like, been, and my depth perception is apparently really good. Like, for the last few, it's just, like, that one looks weird. It, like, ever so slightly fuzzy. <laughs> that one just looks super weird. And then also, um, like, I've always been, like, really good at seeing colors. I've always been good at picking up the names of each color. Um, colors are, like, very strong to me, so that's probably why I did I, and it's surprising how little people can actually see all those numbers and those lines in the eye test thing. <laughs> all right, the glasses part, we're using your hair. So let's bring this in, I'll have you look at the V right now and I'm gonna bring this up and I bet it's gonna be clear, even just to start here. Whoa. Already a lot yeah. better? Yeah. <laughs> the world is clean. Whoa, I can't. Those are not makeup smudges on that sign. Yep. How does that look? What's the lowest you can read down there if you had to read yeah. a line? Can you get the, the bottom? The tiny F, yeah. Okay, go ahead and I'm going to give you this line. Go ahead and read these letters there if you can. Uh, B, V, O, T, L. Good, good. That's the 2020 line, so that's what we're shooting for. So you already got all but one. And clear, I'm going to give you some choices now, okay? And I want you to tell me which one's the clearest of the two. So here's number one. 
or does it seem a little bit clearer when I show you two? Well, there's, is that number two or one? That's number two. Yeah, and two is clearer for me. And then how about two or three, but I don't want them getting any smaller or any darker, just clearer. Three is two. two. And three? Three is a tiny bit, it's a tiny bit clearer. Good job, good job. And then A or B. Uh, is this A or B? This is B. And then A. And then this is A. They look roughly the same, but I think A is a little clearer. All right, good job. So that's with glasses. I'm going to pull it away and show you without, so you can see how much these are going to help you. That, I could probably, yeah, what, even is that? <laughs> yeah, really a lot better with glasses, huh? Yeah. Okay, so we just kind of did the glasses test, and I actually do need glasses. So on that sign, there's text, I don't remember what it said, like under the eyes. They look kind of like makeup smudges here. And I could do the eye tests way better with this glasses -y machine thing. And it was, yeah, so um, it was so much better with the glasses on. I wasn't even aware that that was possible to see. <laughs> So now that I know that I need glasses, we're going to look at some of the frames for the glasses that they have here. So I think I really like the way that these ones look and feel on me. Um, so let me put them back on. Like they don't feel too big or too little. And these are kind of Emily Light glasses and these are probably going to be my favorite ones that I'm going to wear. Okay. You want to try some of the black ones too? Yeah. So these are some of the blue and black dragon dragons. Dragons. <laughs> I've been thinking. So these are some of the blue and black glasses. So these are some of the blue and black glasses. I almost called them dragons because a long time ago, um, me and my friends did like this Renaissance kind of larpy thing, and the team, like the team that I was on, was called the Blue Dragons, and these were their colors. So that's why I called these dragons. And then there are these just normal black ones, which are also I also are comfortable, I just have to stop trying to look over them. <laughs> kind of like these. I think these were the original ones that I wanted to go with, so I'll go with these because I like the way that they, I like the way that they kind of fit on. Okay, I'll go cool with that. Up to you. <laughs> Your glasses. These go here. Hang on to that like a pair of binoculars. See that green target? Yeah. Focus on the very center of it. Go and lick them. So, um, actually, I'm going to be able to get to like watch them cut the lenses. So they have the lenses that I will need for the glasses, so I can kind of watch them cut the lenses. And they just measure how far apart my pupils are, how far apart my eyes are, and where my pupils are, because they want the glasses to like kind of hit the middle of the glasses to be like right in the center of my pupil. So we did that. So um, it's called the optical center. That is the technical term for things. <laughs> so um, right now I'm getting the lenses carved to go in the glasses because like they do come with glass lenses, and it's a really cool looking process. So I'm really excited to do it. So this is the frame you picked out. This is your prescription here. Okay. So your right eye is a minus two point two five. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up this drawer, and you can see these are all lenses. I know, a lot, huh? So here we find a 225. So then this prescription's a minus 150, minus 50. So now we want to find, I think it's going to be back here just a little bit more. 125, 150. Okay. So we're going to pop the lenses out like that. So then we take, and you can come over here. So this is the machine that's actually gonna cut down the lenses, okay? Mm -hmm. So this little thing back here is called a tracer. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay the frame in there. Now if you can see, here, let me grab you a little stool real quick. Okay, so you see this line that's right here? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna put that right on the center of the nose. And then you can see these little, these little forks that are right here. Mm -hmm. I kind of put the frame right in the middle of that, okay? So then we're going to say trace both lenses. So then it pinches the frame, so the frame's in there nice and tight. And that's called the stylus. So what that stylus is doing is that that's going around inside the groove of the frame. It's tracing that frame all the way around. So it's tracing our right lens, and now it's going to trace our left lens.
this is what we call our blocker, okay? So it brought this design over here. So if I actually take and hit this button and hold this up, you can kind of see that that's the lens shape that we're looking for. Okay, so she took that measurement where she put that thing up against you and did all that stuff. So that's the number we're gonna put in here. So that was 29 and that was 30. And then she put the lenses on and marked where your, where your pupil was, okay? So that was at 16. So now we're gonna align the lens in here. And then these are our little blocks. So we're gonna peel a little tape off that for us. And we're gonna shove this up in here. And take that sticky off. And then we just spin this around and then drop it down on our block. So, then we'll take another little piece of sticky paper and we'll put it on the back. So now what we wanna do is we wanna protect the back of the lens so we don't have any scratches in it. Okay. So then, we're gonna come over here, and we said that was what, job number 92, right? Yes. So we're gonna go up to job number 92, then we're gonna hit data set. So now that brings all that information that we put over there and what we trace over here. Okay, so then we're gonna open this up. I'm gonna put this in here like this. Okay, and then go ahead and hit the start button. So that's gonna bring it in. This is called a chuck, so it just chucked the lens. Okay, so now what it's going to, these are called feelers. So what's going to happen now are these feelers are going to come down and it's actually tracing the frame on the lens. So what the machine is asking the lens is, do we have enough cut out in the lens for this frame? And then it also, it's determining the prescription, the thickness of the lens this way also. Okay, so we're going to have to shut this here in a second because it's going to fire up. Okay, so it likes everything. So now what's going to happen is you can see that wheel down there is spinning. We'll close this. So what's going to happen is it's going to, get, it's going to drop the lens against the hard wheel. And you can see that it's, it's cutting the lens down to your frame. Chuck the lens. So it pulls our lens out, and what I want to do is I'm just going to dry it off because it's all wet. And what I want to do is I want to check the safety bevel on it because I want to make sure that it actually has a good safety bevel on it. So as you can see, it's it's pretty smooth around there. So I think that's really good. Yeah. This machine here, this is a it's a stone. So if it if I didn't like the safety bevel, then I would actually just take in on the stone and I would actually stone it a safety bevel in it. So now what we're going to do is pop the lens in here and see if it fits. So this is really, really interesting and really cool to see the way that the lenses are actually like cut out and reshaped even. And I'm really glad that I actually got to come in here and see this. And we want to have a little bit of movement um, because if it's in there too tight, then it'll what will happen is the lens will actually either bow out or it'll crack. So we just want just a little bit of movement in there. So that's perfect. Thank you so much for letting me see that class. Oh yeah, you got it. No yeah, problem. I'm slide them on. Yes, they definitely do work. A lot That's so weird. Being able to see like that. Good? Yeah, that's really good. Good. How they feel fit wise. Oh yeah, they feel really good. A huge thank you to Pearl Vision here in South Glen. This is super duper amazing. I'm probably gonna wander around for the next few weeks. Like, I can see, I can even read that. That's so cool. I hope you like my new glasses. They d definitely are a big, big help for me. So yeah, thank you for watching, and it's tomorrow.